Hi, everyone. My name is Jesse Zamora. I'm with the Colorado Association of Realtors. And today I'm here to talk about two bills that were passed um, in this past legislative session. The first one is Senate Bill 114. What this bill does is that it allows a board of county commissioners to designate a pond as fire suppression ponds. And that bill is meant to help combat the wildfire risks that we have across the state, um, as well as creating a local resource of water for fire protection districts. How it works is that the, the county commissioners must work with the fire protection districts and adjacent abutting owners um, around that pond to gain approval uh, before it is designated as a fire suppression pond by the state engineer's office. Uh, we're very happy to see this kind of thing go through. This is exactly the, the kind of bill that respects property rights, but also addresses the wildfire risk, which can be devastating, um, as we might know. Uh, the Marshall Fire has, has been a, a real motivational factor in, in this kind of legislation. If you have any more questions or concerns about the bill, I do encourage you to read our legislative update and review. Um, and you can find more on the YouTube link on this bill. Please let me know. I'm happy to answer the questions at any time. House Bill 1151 is a turf replacement program that was signed by our governor. And what this bill does is that it creates a $2 million fund for the Colorado Water Conservation Board um, and allows local governments and nonprofits to use these monies for um, as matching funds and manage programs that do exactly this, replace non-essential turf, um, including street medians. Um, to qualify, the entities must have at least 50% of their costs covered by themselves. And uh, this will be a one-time transfer of money from the general fund to this program. So it does have an end date, but we're glad to see that these programs uh, that are water saving and uh, water wise are coming through the pipeline, um, especially as water becomes a, a more contentious issue in our state, which is really an arid, dry desert. Um, very happy to see this. Uh, we monitored it just because um, we think there there was potential. Uh, we think that there may have been potential for this to have gone a different route, but we're very pleased to see that it is a uh, a way to help governments and nonprofits build that type of infrastructure and and bring in that um, that water wise landscape. This has been Jesse with CAR and. Um, I hope you enjoy these updates. We'll have more coming soon. Thank you.